my opinion, and I want to emphasize my opinion, this has nothing to do with the Sheriff's Department, is that they were abducted. New details tonight as the search continues for a missing mother and daughter from Outagamie County. Jill and Jordan Russo were last seen on Father's Day. And today, Jordan's father, Jill's husband, had a whole lot to say about it. Here's NBC 26's Juliana Falk. Kelly Russo says he came home from Minnesota Sunday, Father's Day, and his wife and daughter were gone. There's just so many things that don't add up. But says he talked with his wife on the way back. Every time I come through Hudson, I'd call my wife and say, OK, I'll be home in about four hours, four and a half hours, whatever that is. He says he then stopped for dinner in Wausau and called again. But this time, there was no answer. I thought, well, maybe she's outside. We have some acreage. You know, she could be outside doing some stuff. But when he got home, Jill and Jordan weren't there. It got to be about 9.15 and um, thought, well, this is kind of odd. She hasn't called me. All right, she's not home yet. So then I called her and her cell phone rang in the house. He says Jordan's phone was on the couch shut off. He says he believed perhaps Jill left her phone because she was doing work outside, then stopping into work. Russo says based on surveillance video from across the parking lot, he believes his wife and daughter came here to the Oasis Wellness Center. He says Jill is a natural doctor there and Jordan has a sewing and alteration studio. I have a couple cameras coming out here. Russo shared the surveillance video with NBC 26 and says he believes their Burgundy Ford Expedition drove in. They just back up over here and the end, she'll open up the tailgate. It's one that pops up, so if it rains out, you can sit underneath it. And you can see that come open. And then the security cameras are motion sensitive. So nothing happened until they drove away, which was exactly 15 minutes later. And he says Jill and Jordan just disappearing without saying anything is out of character. Authorities tell us Russo is not believed to be a suspect. We truly believe that either they went somewhere of their own free will or something more uh, unfortunate happened, but we, we need to figure that out. But we don't believe he's at all involved. Russo thinking it could be more than them just leaving for a few days. My opinion, and I want to emphasize my opinion, this has nothing to do with the Sheriff's Department, is that they were abducted. The Outagamie County Sheriff's Office asks anyone with information to come forward. Juliana Falk, NBC 26. Family and friends of the Russos are coming together tonight for a prayer vigil in Nina. That's where NBC 26's Nina Sperano, Sperano is live right now. Nina. We're here at the Cavalry Bible Church where this vigil is now just beginning. Take a look behind me. Some people are just starting to file in. They've opened the doors at 6 o'clock where family and friends are going to come together today to pray for Jordan and Jill Rousseau's safe return. They're here to come together and bond, talk to one another, pray together, hoping that their worst fears don't come true, that Jill and Jordan do come home safely. We're learning more about the family. We're learning more about Jill and Jordan. And we're also learning more about the investigation. We're going to bring you those details coming up tonight on NBC 26 at 10. For now, live in Nina, Nina Sperano, NBC 26.